Get ready, Steelers fans, because what you're about to witness is a saga of resilience and determination, of remarkable transformations and tests of courage that define the soul of this team. Before we dive into these incredible tales, one small request. If you're ready to immerse yourself in the world of the Steelers, don't forget to leave a like. Let's go. In the depths of the 2023 offseason, the Steelers were eager to strengthen their linebacker roster, and they succeeded. One acquisition in particular has stood out. Cole Holcomb, coming from the Washington Commanders, has not only established himself as a vocal leader, but also become an iconic figure with his unmistakable hair. But before we delve deeper into this impressive story, let's now move on to the first account of this journey. During the 2023 offseason, the Pittsburgh Steelers wanted to strengthen their linebacker crew, and they succeeded. They made significant changes, and Cole Holcomb, who joined from the Washington Commanders, became one of the key additions. Holcomb has played a significant role, taking up 85% of the defensive snaps and becoming a vocal leader. When he signed with the Steelers, head coach Mike Tomlin told him, you better not cut that mullet. Holcomb's iconic mullet has become synonymous with steel curtain vibes, adding a unique touch to his character. His journey to the NFL is impressive, starting as a walk-on at the University of North Carolina and eventually becoming a standout player in college. He was drafted by Washington in 2019, started 15 games as a rookie, and has continued to prove doubters wrong. Now, in his fifth NFL season, Holcomb has solidified his place in the league. The Steelers signed him to a three-year, $18 million contract, which has proven to be a bargain. He's played a crucial role in stabilizing the linebacker group, which also features veterans Quan Alexander and Alandon Roberts. This three-man rotation has allowed the team to develop and mature Mark Robinson while he contributes on special teams. Robinson, a 2022 seventh rounder, hasn't seen much action on defense this season, despite improvements in pass coverage. The front office addressed the linebacker situation well, and Holcomb has played a significant part in that transformation. The Steelers have faith in their defense's three-man rotation at linebacker, and Robinson may only see defensive playtime in 2023 if injuries occur. Holcomb's impact on the team has been substantial, and his unmistakable mullet continues to be a defining feature. Without further ado, let's move on to the next chapter of this saga. During the Week 5 showdown against the Ravens, linebacker T.J. Watt had a moment that would even make the toughest fans hold their breath. But what Watt did next is nothing short of impressive, and this story of resilience continues with a mission ahead. During the Steelers' Week 5 matchup against the Ravens, linebacker T.J. Watt experienced a painful injury that might make you cringe. He dislocated his left pinky finger during the game and managed to pop it back into place. When he removed his glove, he saw that his pinky had swollen to the size of a hamburger patty. Despite the gruesome injury, Watt showed his toughness and finished the game in a dominant fashion, making significant contributions, including two sacks, two quarterback hits, two tackles for a loss, two passes defensed, and one fumble recovery. Even after the Week 6 bye, the 2021 NFL Defensive Player of the Year continues to lead the league in sacks with eight, He's set on making a strong case for his second DPOI award as the Steelers face the Rams. Concerns arose when Watt didn't practice on Thursday due to a heel injury. However, Watt assured everyone that it was a minor issue and he's feeling great. This is excellent news for the Steelers, especially as they prepare to face one of the NFL's top passing offenses. The Rams are averaging the sixth highest passing yards per game, and with quarterback Matthew Stafford ranking fifth in passing attempts, Watt has a chance to shine and potentially become the first player to reach 10-plus sacks this season. Thank you for joining us on this journey of excitement and resilience. If you've enjoyed these incredible stories of courage and dedication, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe for more inspiring tales from the Steelers. Until next time, Steelers Nation, and thank you for being part of this amazing journey.